Hello, how's everybody doing? Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Um, my name is Eddie Canales. I am the senior admissions counselor here in the Houston office. And I just want to say thank you so much um, for stopping by. Uh, I know today your time is very valuable and I really appreciate you guys being here. So I just want to say um, thank you from, uh, from me and from Texas Tech um, that you're here. Um, can everybody hear me okay? Um, Um, but, so I just want to say again, thanks for um, stopping by, and I'll, I'll look forward to your questions, and I'll look forward to telling you more about Texas Tech and, and who we are. So, um, so thanks again. So, um, as far as who I am, um, let's, let's get started with this presentation. As far as who I am, my name is Ed Canales, uh, and again, I work in the Houston Regional Center. I'm an admissions counselor here. Um, and one of my roles is to tell you more about Texas Tech and who we are and as far as uh, the other roles tell you to really click admit or deny on your application so I'm one of those guys that clicks uh, admit and deny on your application so that's a pretty cool role that I get to do uh, I'll read your essays I'll go through your through your application and eventually I'm one of the guys that clicks admit or deny on your application so uh, as far as um, who I am, I grew up here in Houston, um, you can see past that window, you can see kind of downtown Houston, um, but I grew up here and I never imagined myself going to Lubbock, uh, and that's where Texas Tech University is at, and I never imagined myself going there, um, especially those nine hours away, um, but I was very fortunate to go to Texas Tech, and while I was at Texas Tech, I got to do a lot of cool things, and uh, eventually I ended up uh, graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Human Development and Family Studies uh, and then I'm working on my Master's now so uh, I've been doing this role for about three years now I'm going on my fourth and I pretty much have the with a perfect job I don't know if you can't tell from the background um, I have a lot of cool tech stuff and uh, I had an awesome awesome experience so um, I look forward to working with you um, so Let's get started as far as the presentation. Um, Texas Tech, um, Texas Tech started off in 1923. We were founded in 1923, uh, and classes began in 1925 uh, with about six buildings uh, and a student body of 914 students. Uh, but now currently we have about 33,000 students. We just broke uh, another record enrollment number and we're gonna, we have the most students we've ever had at Texas Tech University. We have 33,000 students. We're still a young university. We're not 100 years old yet, but we're looking uh, to get bigger and better by the minute, and uh, we're getting stronger every minute, and uh, hopefully I can tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, 23, uh, Texas Tech was founded in 1923, and that's my favorite number, so you can kind of see it all throughout my office here, so it's pretty neat. Um, but again, we're looking to get bigger and better uh, and stronger by the minute. Um, the, though we have a lot of students, uh, our faculty student ratio is about 23 to 1, so we still, uh, and the average class size is about 36 people, so we're trying to um, keep it up at a personal level, so uh, as far as our student and faculty, so there's plenty of space there. And then um, some of the traditions that we have at Texas Tech, um, here you can see a couple of them. I kind of want to show you this picture right here, just because I'm able to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, at the top, the top picture you have the going band from Raiderland. A cool and unique thing about uh, the Texas Tech band is that we were the first band to ever travel uh, with any band. If you see the guy in the statue down at the bottom right uh, corner, that's Will Rogers. And Will Rogers actually paid some money for us to go down to Fort Worth so they can hear what a real marching band sounded like. Uh, at one point we've had the, one of the largest bands in the country and currently we have one of the largest bands in the country. So that whole top row, um, that that whole top picture is our band and you can see the, the football stadium in the background uh, for me that's one of my favorite traditions is going to a football game if you can't tell there's tech football all over this office as well um, and if you look really closely in that picture you can actually sing, see me I'm kidding um, but yeah so the, the cool thing about tech also is that you get into football games for free um, so you just show up with your Texas Tech ID and you walk in and then uh, uh, you'll go into the stadium. That whole bottom row um, from the 
from the band all the way up until the double T kind of where you can maybe see it. I don't know if I can point to this or not, but um, that's all the student section. Uh, whenever I was in college, uh, I actually got to come out on ESPN with the sign that said, hey mom, send money, go tech. Now she didn't send me any money because she doesn't watch ESPN, but that was one of the cool traditions that we, that we got to do. Uh, down here at the bottom, bottom left, I think you see the Christmas lights. We have the carol lights, and on the right, on the left hand side, we have the victory bells. And those victory bells, um, they're actually big bells that will actually ring uh, after any victory or after any Texas Tech achievement, and they'll usually ring for about 30 minutes um, after we won anything. Um, so, back in the day, though, uh, the tradition holds that they rang for the whole night but Lubbock citizens didn't like how they rang the whole night so now they only ring for 30 minutes so if you're ever wondering um, why are the bells ringing it just means that we won something so this last year we got a billion dollars and they rang for um, as far as billion dollars in finding like in raising money for Texas Tech and they and the victory bells rang for 30 minutes for that so that's a pretty pretty cool thing and then that's the administration building that's where we um, the office of the Chancellor and the president are um, the cool thing about our uh, president, he's got an open door policy, so if, if he's ever there and you want to stop by and say hello, definitely feel free to stop by. Uh, president Nellis is an incredible, incredible president. We're definitely excited to have him. And then on the right-hand side, um, the bell's closer to the statue. Um, whenever I was a freshman, I actually got to play those bells, uh, and just being, I don't know, one of the cool things that I got to do at Tech, so uh, that's a pretty cool uh, and unique uh, thing about Texas Tech. And then on the right hand side you see the statue with Will Rogers, the guy that paid for the money to go to Texas, uh, for our band to go down to Fort Worth. Um, we actually wrap up this horse uh, the Thursday um, before a home football game just so we can kind of protect them from our enemy schools that will come and try to vandalize them and so on. So, um, but Will Rogers is a famous statue and I have a lot of pictures uh, with him. Now the myth about Lubbock. Um, is that there's nothing to do. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Texas Tech is located in Lubbock. And, um, and um, the big myth about Lubbock is that there's nothing to do. It's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, why would anybody go out there? Um, and that's what the big thing that I was getting was whenever I was applying for different colleges, I applied to maybe about six different schools. Uh, and whenever I was telling people that I was thinking about Texas Tech, um, people kept saying that there's nothing to do in Lubbock. It's in the middle of nowhere. Why would anybody go out there? But for me, the big selling point that Texas Tech University has is Lubbock. Uh, for one, um, we have the largest campus in the country. Um, we have this nice uh, pool. We actually have the largest lazy, um, lazy river on any collegiate campus. Uh, and there's lots to do in Lubbock. Um, the whole myth, again, that there's nothing to do is completely false because we do have a nice lazy river we're part of the big 12 conference where you'll go to big football games um, here I have the Texans because I, I, I work out of the Houston office but I'd rather I, I would rather go to a, a Texas Tech football game but rather than a Texans football game just because that's my school and, and just college football and just in general but that's just my opinion um, then we have over 400 student organizations anything that you want to do we pretty much have um, whenever I was at Tech, I started two student organizations. I saw somebody riding a long skateboard, so I started Tech Longboarding. Then we also started uh, Invisible Children, where we started we ra where we raised money um, for to build schools in Africa. So that was a pretty cool thing. Um, and I was never bored um, from the Lazy River to um, to going hiking. We actually have Paladero Canyons, about an hour and a half north of Lubbock. Um, and I could go hiking anytime I wanted. Uh, Paladero Canyon, a cool thing about that is that uh, it's the so second largest canyon in North America next to the Grand Canyon. Um, and also, if you think playing capture the flag in second grade is pretty cool, I mean, if you pl think playing uh, tag in second grade is pretty cool, imagine when you can play capture the flag 50 on 50 on, a ca on the largest campus in the country and you can actually run fast and you know uh, where to hide and how to hide. So that's pretty neat. And again, we have over 400 student organizations, so you're never gonna be bored. And the other cool thing and unique thing about Texas Tech or Lubbock is that over 65% of the people that come to Texas Tech come from at least 300 miles away, um, meaning that pe out of those 5,000 freshmen you start school off with, um, 3,000 of those people are gonna be in the same boat. Um, I did. I remember whenever my mom left from that parking lot, I remember, I remember being a little scared, to be honest. 
Um, but then right as soon as my mom left in that parking lot, I looked right across the other, I mean right across the parking lot and I saw uh, another guy whose mom had just left and immediately we had this instant connection that hey, our moms are far away and we went to go play basketball right after that, so it was pretty neat. And then Lubbock has everything that a big city like Houston has or, or Dallas has. Um, we have, um, I mean, you have the nightlife, you have concerts that stop, that stop by there. Um, if you want to do anything outdoors, definitely have outdoors. And pretty much every rush, every restaurant that Houston has, um, Lubbock has it as well. I mean, they're even opening up a Torchy's Tacos there in Lubbock soon. So, but I, I mean, there was, and the cool thing is, um, right across the university, you have everything from canes to burritos to whatever that you want to eat. So that whole, again, myth that there's nothing to do in Lubbock and there's nothing in Lubbock is completely false. And, and again, I'm coming from the fourth largest city in, in North America, so it's pretty cool. Um, now, as far as majors, a cool and unique thing about Texas Tech is that we have about 150 different majors and minors. Um, anything, we are the only school in Texas to have a medical school, law school, undergrad, and a grad school, all within the same campus. Um, I had friends that studied everything. Uh, and I mean, I have my roommate from college, he's in law school right now. I have other friends that are in physical therapy school, um, that are medical school, um, that did architecture, engineering, or engineering. Uh, and I just want to talk a little bit about engineering really quick. The average starting salary for a Texas Tech engineer is about $66,000 a year. Uh, we just had a guy graduate from Tech Engineering School, start off making $106,000 a year. Uh, just overall, uh, engineering uh, in general, that's what tech, kind of what Texas Tech is kind of known for as well. Um, the current dean of our engineering school is Dr. Al Sacco. He's a former astronaut, graduate from MIT. He's lead our, leading our engineering school, and, and he's doing a, such a great job of it. Uh, one of the big goals for our, the College of Engineering is that more than 50% of the people who are graduating from Tech Engineering School have some sort of study abroad experience. And hopefully that might even go into, that might be a requirement here pretty soon that you must um, study abroad. In Houston alone, there's over 96 different languages spoken. Um, what's gonna separate you from everybody else? And we definitely encourage you, no matter uh, what major you choose, definitely encourage you to study abroad. Uh, and overall, that's definitely a big, uh, big part of our culture at Texas Tech University. We don't w want you just to impact this, this, this city or, or um, Lubbock itself or just the state of Texas. We want you to impact the world. And whenever you look at people who've graduated from Texas Tech, like Ed Whitaker, um, who was a CEO, the only person that's been CEO of two Fortune 500 companies, um, two of the largest Fortune 500 companies, is um, like General Motors uh, and AT&T. Uh, and he graduated from Texas Tech. And the cool thing is that the um, College of Engineering is actually named after Ed Whitaker. Um, or Angela Braley, at one point she was the 16th most powerful woman in the world. Um, I mean, if you think about Lunchables, Texas Tech grad as well. So anything that you want to major in, we pretty much have. Uh, and if you're thinking about medical school, the cool thing is that we have the largest medical community between Dallas and LA. And we're the only school in Texas, again, to have medical school, law school, undergrad, and a grad school all within the same campus. The other unique thing about um, the different things that you can study at Texas Tech is that our residence halls, we have about 13 or 14 different residence halls that you can live in. And in these residence halls, um, you're going to be able to live with people um, of that specific major. So for example, if you're doing um, engineering, you definitely want to try to live in Bledsoe just because um, that whole building, uh, if you're a guy, that whole building, they're all doing engineering as well. So um, learning communities pretty much what they are, are set floors and set, hall, uh, set residence halls for specific majors. So definitely encourage you to do that uh, if you can. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything so far? Definitely let, feel free to chat in um, with your questions. Um, now as far as how do you become a Red Raider, I want you to get this ring, okay? Because this is what I got and I definitely want you to, to get this ring because this ring means a lot to me. But uh, as far as the admissions process and criteria, so we have two types of uh, admissions at Texas Tech and I'm speaking directly to freshmen right now and I'll definitely talk a little bit more about transfers. But as far as freshmen, um, that first column on the left, on your right, um, yeah, it should be on your left, um, it's the assured admission. So if you meet this, then this is based off class rank and SAT or ACT scores, uh, then you would be automatically accepted into Texas Tech University. Um, now the SAT score, we're just looking at your math and reading, uh, your critical math and your critical reading combined. And now the cool and unique thing about Tech is that we also do super scoring where we'll take your highest test score from whatever test that you take. So definitely encourage you to take 
um, the SAT multiple times if you can, just so that you can definitely try to meet those shared admissions if you can. Uh, now, for example, um, and let me talk about transfers really quick. Um, so, and if you want to transfer, let me go back to the, the freshman. Um, if you don't meet the assured admissions as a freshman, then you'll go into application review. In review, that's where people like me are going to look at everything you've ever done since freshman year and all the way into your senior year. So this is where we would definitely want to see extracurricular activities, leadership, um, every, everything, everything you've ever done since freshman year all the way to your senior year. I definitely want to see it uh, on your Apply Texas application. And the four things that we're going to require for your uh, application are going to be the Apply Texas application, the $60 application fee or fee waiver, um, the your high school transcripts, and your test scores. And once we receive these four things, then it usually takes about two to four weeks to get your application, uh, to get an admissions, on, uh, an admissions decision on your application. Now say for example, if you don't want to start as a freshman, you don't, I mean, you probably want to stay at a community college um, here in Houston or, or wherever you are, um, then you can definitely do that. Um, stay at the community college at least a semester uh, if you come with at least 12 hours, all you need is a 2.5 cumulative GPA, uh, and you would be automatically accepted. Now, there are some special major requirements, so for example, architecture and business and engineering. Um, they're going to require a little bit higher major, um, and for you to be on the automatic, I mean, to be an assured admit, just to come right into their, and right into their college. So, um, again, please let me know if you have any questions about anything. Um, and again. Uh, some of the important deadlines that we're going to have, okay, here, on, here are the four things that we require again, the Applied Texas application, the uh, official SAT or ACT score for freshmen, $60 application fee or fee waiver, and the official high school transcripts. And then on the right hand side you see important dates. The big date out of this one is definitely February 1st. Um, that's going to be our scholarship deadline. And the way the scholarships work at Texas Tech, um, you can have a couple of types. Uh, some are need based and some are merit based. But um, let's see. Yeah, they're on the right-hand side. Um, but whenever you apply to Texas Tech, um, right after you finish your Apply Texas application, I definitely want you to do the scholarship application right after that. And again, the the deadline for that is February first. But I want you to do that as soon as you get done with your Apply Texas application, and just get it done with. Uh, and that's going to have sh some short answer questions, and that's going to put you in the running for all the departmental scholarships, all the Texas Tech scholarships. And again, highly recommend that you do that just because there's a lot of money out there. Last year, um, we gave out about $290 million in financial aid, and this year is only going to get bigger, uh, especially with this, these billion dollars coming into our university this year. Um, as far as the typical cost for Texas Tech, uh, if you're a resident, it costs about $23,000 a year to go, but this you're never going to get a bill for $23,000. Uh, you're definitely going to get a bill for tuition and fees, and this is based on 30 hours. Uh, then room and board, we require freshmen to live on campus. Um, so typically, that's one of the, I mean, the middle of the row meal plan and, and your traditional room. But that could even that can fluctuate a little bit. Then books and supplies, we just overestimated just a little bit. So that way, you can um, just be ready to spend on, on some money on books and transportation. Uh, it's really up to you. You're more than welcome to bring your car if you want to. Um, typically, it costs about two hundred fifty dollars. Um, a year to have um, your car there, but as far as transportation, like um, ways that you can save money um, on coming back and forth from Houston, maybe um, getting online and on the Southwest apps, or, or uh, um, I mean, just planning ahead is definitely going to save you a lot of money. Then personal miscellaneous, this is really up to you. This is kind of just some spending money we just added in there. Um, so it's, you're never going to get a bill for twenty three thousand. It usually costs about eighteen to nineteen thousand dollars. Um, to attend Texas Tech for again um, 30 hours a semester, uh, yeah, 30 hours a year. So, and if you're a non resident, the cool thing is that if you get a thousand dollar scholarship, a thousand dollar Texas Tech scholarship, then you'll qualify for in state tuition. So, that, that one thousand dollar scholarship will then turn into almost like a ten thousand dollar scholarship. So, that's really neat. Um, so, definitely uh, encourage you to apply for these scholarships. Uh, and again, please let me know if you have any questions about. The scholarships. Um, then the big thing is uh, understand that we are here for you. Um, we have admissions counselors throughout the state of Texas and we also have an out-of-state admissions counselor but uh, all these admissions counselors in these regional centers like the Houston office here, um, 
to the one in Dallas, to the one in Austin, to the one in West Texas. Uh, we all have, I mean, we're fully staffed and we all cover a certain region. We, all, we also cover other states as well. So I cover um, Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. And just know that um, we are here for you. Most of us went to Texas Tech and graduated from Texas Tech and we're definitely passionate about Texas Tech. Um, but the big thing is that we want to serve you in every possible way. Um, know that we are here for you. I mean, from this August to next August, and we just make want to make sure that your that your transition from being a high school senior or a transfer student into Texas Tech University goes as smooth as possible. Uh, and again, we are here to serve you. Uh, so please, please, please let us know. Here's some of our contact information in on on this website and in this phone number is where you can kind of. Um, see the link to every, to your specific admissions counselor, but please follow us on Twitter, um, like us on Facebook, and definitely let us know how we can help you and how we can serve you. Um, as far as um, my question, uh, I guess, to you guys is what would keep you guys from going to Texas Tech? Um, I've talked, I mean, pretty briefly as far as some of the some of the accolades that we have and the majors that we have, but if there's any specific questions that you have about anything, please definitely let us know. And just know that personally, um, I want you to come to Texas Tech pretty bad. Uh, I went there in my office, I and mean, this is my office, and, and it pretty, it's pretty clear I love Tech, and I, I want everybody to go to Tech, but specifically you. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Um, thank you so much for taking this time to stop by, um, by, by our booth. Uh, I know you could be doing something completely uh, different, but I'm really excited for you and for your future. And uh, um, just let us know again how we can serve you uh, in every, any and every step of the way. Um, and we look forward to working with you uh, as a whole, as undergraduate admissions at Texas Tech. Uh, we want you to be part of this family. Um, and that's, that's something we definitely pride ourselves in, that we want you to have an incredible experience. And I promise you that if you experience Tech like this much, what I experience at Tech, you're going to have an incredible, incredible, incredible experience at Texas Tech. So um, thanks again, and we look forward to it. And, and again, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right.